tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer animation. Let's get started with animation. Hello folks, today I'm going to show you something really simple and very basic and I'm not a sculptor at all. This is uh, Forger by Maxon. Maxon are the people who created Cinema 4D and you can sculpt things on your iPad for example. Uh, this is pretty amazing uh, because the workflow is so fluent. This is another competing product also available on Android and it's called Nomad Sculpt. Nomad Sculpt was programmed by a French guy with the name Stéphane Guignet. Thank you Stéphane for creating this tool. I think it's 14 euro or something like that and it is some people say it's not as professional as a ZBrush. That's obvious. ZBrush is such a strong sculpting tool on the Mac and on the PC but on a mobile device this is pretty amazing what Forger and Nomad can achieve. With a pen it's especially nice to work with a pen and uh, I think I've used this program this app two days or so and uh, I am slowly getting familiar with the tools. As you can see, the most of the tools are on the right-hand side, the upper right. And uh, I changed from from tools which push in and drag out, whatever. And uh, then I model this really very simple head in maybe five minutes. I could visualize the topology by displaying the wireframe and I can change the wireframe count in this program. It's also amazing. And once I'm finished I just save it as an OBJ file on the iPad in my case and I well drag and drop it into Maya. Very simple and very basic. One drawback, however, when I texture things in Nomad, I cannot read the textures in Maya. They're for, for a reason I don't know, they're just gone. And uh, that's why I stick to this gray sort of head in this example. In this example, I did not change anything within the app about the topology of this geometry. The geometry seems to be very adaptive to what you're actually painting. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, some polygon structure visible here at the so-called ear, if you call it ear or not, and uh, at the eyes. And when I select this head, I see that the topology is extremely clean. It's really very clean. If you model this in Maya, you would probably have to clean, do a lot of cleaning up work. This is a tune rendering of this face with this topology. What you can do now is reduce the number of faces drastically. Let me see how many we currently have. We go to display, heads up display, and we want to see the poly count. We have about 100,000 faces currently and no UVs because it doesn't have a UV map and that's maybe the reason why the textures don't come from Nomad into Maya even when saving it as an OBJ file which normally carries UV mapping and textures. If you want you can clean this head up and uh, reduce the number of faces drastically from 100,000 to, uh, well, much less by reducing or uh, retopologizing the structure, which takes a while because Maya needs to think about details. Uh, 
Now look at this, it's only 1000 faces, so we made a drastic reduction and you still can see the basic structure of this head. The mouth is gone because we lost a lot of detail here, uh, but uh, the eye structure for example is quite intact, the nose as well, and the ears you can still see that the, the basic shape of the ear is right here. So this command retopologize is really powerful and it works totally differently from uh, remesh and reduce. So try retopologize first, maybe with the option box. Uh, a rendering of this simplified head is this one. Now the disclaimer which I said at the very beginning, I'm very narrow-minded in terms of modeling on an iOS or Android device. So I just started using it and I just wanted to show you that it is possible to do it. And uh, with this I'll leave you for now. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.